Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Reef Guru and I'm going to do a quick tutorial here on how to create a 3D print with uh, two or more colors, it's up to you. Uh, so real quick, we're going to start with a model. Uh, it's this uh, coiled sna or snake uh, model here, which is actually very cool. It prints without uh, supports um, and it's completely reticulated when you uh, actually finish printing it. I don't have any right here, but uh, when, it's, uh, when we finish printing it here, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, we're going to add a process in uh, Simplify 3D here. That, uh, three top layers, three bottom layers, and three perimeters is fairly reasonable. I'm also going to print it at 0.2 millimeters. That's a little bit of the print time, but um, creates a much better print. Uh, skirt and brim on the first process, which is going to be the bottom half of the print. And then 10% infill. No support. Uh, typical sort of temperature. For me, I like to start at 215 and drop down to 210 for the second layer. Uh, recently started printing from a cooling perspective. First layer with no fan, second layer with 50% fan, and then third layer is 100%. Uh, that really helps a lot with the, uh, before I was just doing 0 and 100, and the second layer the temperature was dropping down to, you know, 190, 195 uh, from 215, so it was a dramatic temperature drop in between the first and second layer. Uh, this has helped abate that a little bit. Um, looking to get the, there's a little uh, a silicone covers that you can put on the hot end for the E3D. Um, probably get one of those soon. They're very inexpensive, like $3, uh, $5 US. Um, <clears throat> so from an advanced perspective here, uh, we want to, for this particular model, have it set to stop printing at uh, 4.6 millimeters. And what I'm going to show you here is if I prepare to print is the easiest way to show it. Um, really uh, 4.6 uh, millimeters is the middle of the snake. So I'm putting two layers here, or I'm sorry, two colors. So uh, uh, 4.6 millimeters is the middle here, so that's perfectly reasonable. What I will do is add a second process now and go in and basically tell it that this is the now top half of the snake. So we want to put everything at full, quote unquote, full, um, full values. Um, don't need a brim or skirt on this upper half. Infill will remain the same. No support. Temperature in this case, uh, we will change the first layer, leave it at, uh, um, we'll remove this set point and set it at 210 so it continues to print. Um, from a cooling perspective, move all these and say layer, we'll start at layer one from the process perspective. Um, G code here. Now, from a scripts perspective, uh, this is probably unique to the uh, Prusa i3 Mark II. But what we want to do is we don't want it to um, auto level, uh, auto med, uh, bash, mesh bed leveling, uh, and we don't want it to print that introduction line there. So what we want to do is tell it with firmware to go. We want it to home, and then uh, go outside the print area. And then other and advanced here, instead of stopping at 4.6 here, we want to copy that. We want to start printing at 4.6. Now, so what's going to happen here is, okay, now we will uh, prepare to print only on process two. What you see here is you get just the top half of the snake. So when we print this in reality, uh, we will use the first file, print the bottom. It'll stop, home, load a new filament, and then start printing the top uh, as if it had not even stopped. So this is gonna be an interesting uh, test. Um, for me, I've never tried it using Nestle by 3D. I've tried uh, some of the Prusa websites. Uh, it seemed to have an interesting uh, M600 call out uh, from a G-code perspective that forces the printer to reload the um, the filament, um, but I'm finding with the website is that it, 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 it injects a bunch of M600s. In fact, um, 
I don't have it open anymore, but I was trying to compare and contrast the output from the website, but I wasn't able to do it. So, uh, standby. Uh, we're going to, actually, we're in the process of printing one right now. We're in the first layer, so in about an hour or so, uh, we'll have the final product. So, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to probably cut over now to the, uh, uh, the time lapse, show you what's going on here, and then uh, we will show you the output product. Thanks. We'll be back real soon. Okay, so welcome back. Hey, we printed the uh, snake. Uh, you saw the time lapse. It looked uh, great. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is a quick video of the actual snake uh, starting from the front. You can see it turned out fantastically. It's blended very well. You can also see the ribs turned out very well right there in the center there. Um, it looks really, really great. I'm super happy with the settings I ended up with in Simplify. Again, the blending in the back looking fantastic. I'm going to pick it up here show it to you. Um, the ribs here look great. None of the uh, half half printed layers that we had in the previous uh, previous settings. And it just looks really, really fantastic. So I'm excited by the settings. With this, you should be able to set just about any, um, any uh, number of colors you want. Uh, so with that, I hope you appreciate the, uh, the time and energy. <laughs> And uh, we'll put uh, this one into the uh, figured it out category. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as always, give it a thumbs up anyway. And with that, I uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.